Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the Vermont Handcrafters Annual Craft Vermont Show. The show has been a holiday tradition that spans generations and features products made by hand by our friends and neighbors across the state. To learn about the 70th anniversary show, I want to welcome Elizabeth Boudreaux. Elizabeth is the Vermont Handcrafters Director of Events. Welcome, Elizabeth. It's great to have Hello. you with us. Yes. So glad to see you again. Yes, it's wonderful. <laughs> so when and where is this year's show after being online for two years? Well, I can tell you, we are so excited to be back. Back at the Doubletree in um, South Burlington. And it starts on Friday the 18th. And it's going to run through Sunday the 20th. And we're going to be there all in our glory. <laughs> see, we're, we're so excited to see everyone again. Yeah, it's just wonderful that you're going to be in person. It just makes all the difference, even though it's a, amazing what you have done. Um, so 70 years, now that is quite a tradition. Tell us a little bit um, about the Vermont Handcrafters Organization. Well, um, I always like to say we're a family of artists and we're, it's a thriving family of artists and we've managed to <laughs> make it through the pandemic um, with online shows and now we'll be back in person. Um, we're the oldest juried art organization in the state of Vermont and um, you know that means that it's a quality show. You'll see artists there that you don't see at other shows. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it's really exciting. So, uh, so tell us a little bit um, uh, about the show itself. It's going to be exciting, uh, uh, you know, with these two, uh, two floors. Um, tell us about the, um, the show and, uh, and some of the artists. Um, let's get started. Yeah, well, we're, all, um, you know, we're, yeah, we're going to have two floors, 90 artists, which is wonderful. So, uh, let, yes, let's get going. <laughs> so, oh, aren't these beautiful? This is... Detlev Hunsderfer, he's a wood turner, and these are hand turned salt and pepper mills. Beautiful. My nephew yeah. now has one. Oh, and look at these. Kevin Ruley, he's out of mm -hmm. uh, he's Vermont poster. These are, um, they're just beautiful. They're they brilliant, are. vibrant. And let, next we have. Um, let me see. Oh, Emily. Aaron. Yeah. yeah, Emily Aaron, Memphis Magog Studio. Um, these these are hand fabricated embossed, embossed silver necklaces and bracelets. Gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? And oh, Jerry Canfield. This is traditional. Uh, she's a quilt maker. The, this is a quilt. She does traditional quilts. She does um, abstracts quilts like this, wall hangings. Uh, you know, patchwork stuff, things. It's just, and she's from Shoreham, Vermont. Beautiful. I love the whole variety. And, and we're just getting started, but a reminder that we're seeing and we'll see all of this work is done by Vermonters. Every single thing here. That's part of our Vermont handcrafters is you've got to be a Vermonter to be part of it. Oh, look at this. This is um, Michaela Wallace, Esther's Kitchen Window. This is fused glass. Um, and she makes functional things um, from, you know, dishes, trays, things like that. And that's from a photograph she took right outside her, her window. Um, isn't that gorgeous? Yes. Oh, and Bonnie Ruel, um, Bonnie's Botanicals. This is a cast, a plaster casting. And she puts the flowers in and um, gets the, you know, the imprint. And then she hand paints all of these things. And that's a... Vermont barn uh, frame on it. Right. Isn't that gorgeous? It's really sweet. Sue, she, um, uh, pottery, Susan Shannon, functional bowls and uh, plates and dishes and mugs. But, uh, you know, it's such a br brilliant colors. And the isn't the de design darling? Yeah, it's great. She'll be there too. I just huh? love her work. Um, this is from Jim Holscheider. Um, he's from Yellow Dog Farm. He's a wood turner, and um, he also does drop spindle um, yarn bowls, shaw pins, and so much more. Isn't that? That's great. That little cutout is, makes it yeah. so unique. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, yeah, it's so fun. 
gorgeous. And and so it, it's been, a, of course, a couple of years since you've been able to host an in-person show, um, mm -hmm. it, which is so exciting. But what makes this show particularly unique? Um, well, I would say um, that we're, like I said before, like we're a family of artists and um, we're going to have you know, two floors, 90 artists. I, I guess I've said this all before, but mm -hmm. here it goes again. Sure. And um, we're also going to have live um, demonstrations all three days, 10 to 4. Uh, and then we'll also have a, these, a door prize also. You can um, win a, get a win a door prize if your and, names get called. And that happens like every hour. Yeah, right? while you're hour. there. <laughs> oh yeah, and we have a wide selection of a good, and it's what our artists, our artists will, um, they donate items, and then uh, it's our way of saying thank you, thank and, you for supporting for my handcrafters. So the the demonstrations that you you, you have, you have paper making, uh, sheepskin products, uh, polymers. It's so it, it's a it's a real variety. Oh, it is a real variety, and you know they're experts. Right. This is, and, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be right there in the main lobby. Awesome. And uh, so let's get back to the, the pictures. Who, who else do we have here? Here's a beautiful weaving. Love this. I'm, I'm wearing a piece that I got. Oh, there. this is Sue uh, Mesher. Yeah. Uh, hand, the woven lamb. I have one of these. I just love it. She does, um, she's a weaver and a spinner, and she incorporates her own wool into um, her shawls, like the one here and table runners, rugs, uh, baby blankets. And these shawls come with these outrageous pins on them. Oh, mm, nice. The cure for all, Arnica. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Gab Boys, and that's the body, the body Lounge. And if you haven't ever had used Arnica, I suggest you do for bruising, uh, if you have arthritis, for pain relief, it's really a fabulous product. And you can get it right there. Oh, and look at yeah, this right cute guy. Sure. Oh, look at him. That's um, Don Hewerman and Linda Canary. Mm -hmm. These are made out of cypress knees. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. He carves them and Linda paints them. And often they have these cute little, you know, scenes on them that she does. And you can get them in all sizes. Great. Very whimsical. This is beautiful. Yeah, aren't they? Oh, it, isn't this a beautiful um, necklace? Mm -hmm. uh, necklace. Duh. Bracelet. This is a <laughs> bracelet. This is... Um, Handwoven gold and silver bracelet uh, by Paula Gale, the classy look. And she also does, of course, earrings and necklaces. And she also has these darling little crystal ornaments that she hmm. sells also. Nice. Some more oh. weaving. Oh, yeah, some more weaving. And this is Christine Pratt, CP Handwovens. And that's a bread, she has bread bags. The one with the little sheep on it is a bread bag. Hmm. Um, hand towels. Uh, she does gorgeous, brilliant color scarves and infinity scarves. And, you know, it's great. Oh, and this is Jonathan Hart photography. And Beautiful. Jonathan, isn't that gorgeous? He's doing a new series with water, um, all with water and how it, you know, different you know, yeah. dimensions and the designs. And the, co the colors are amazing. So uh, another thing that the handcrafters are known for is taking a traditional craft and making it their own. So quickly going through a few of those artists. Oh, okay. So uh, let me see. We have this Lee, Lee. Greenwald. Yep. Isn't this gorgeous? Um, she, this is a rag rug um, that she did, makes out of old clothing. Can you mm. imagine that? Isn't mm. that great? Mm -hmm. And she, she does all kinds of weaving. And, oh, this is... Um, uh, oh, Amy. Amy. Yeah. <laughs> She's a watercolorist. Um, and oh my God, doesn't it look like the birch trees you see mm -hmm. every day? Aren't they beautiful? Really spectacular. And this is Toby Fullwaller and he is a, um, a wood turner also. And most of his bowls and things that he makes come from, the wood comes from right off his 90 acre mm, beautiful. Um, airfield home oh and here we have um ellen thompson yellow dog farm and she these are infinity scarves i think there's three wrapped around the neck there isn't that a screen <laughs> that's great and, and she has her own will also her own wool 
her own will wool will yeah. <laughs> also yeah <laughs> so really a, a new take on tradition and, and also you know recycling is so important for for all of us and certainly for vermonters we we believe in it and repurposing materials um, is something uh, that's been important to several of your artists oh oh many of our artists we uh, well lee greenwell who we saw before the rag rug that of clothes and then um this is sue duprat and she does journals and um uh, diaries and uh, you know mm -hmm. all the and she makes them out of all recycled um, leather book thing well <laughs> whatever. here's some fused glass we're, we're we're getting close to time so we'll move through oh, these okay. recycled so ones more quickly glass by um, uh, Sherry Marshall yep. aren't they beautiful earrings I think they're so gorgeous um, and this is by Emily this is um, three-dimensional paintings by Emily um, Culver. Mm -hmm. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. And they're all 3D. Vermont is a big theme with her. Uh, my daughter Catherine has one. <laughs> I love them so. And this, this is hand. This is felting. Mm. Can you imagine? It looks like a painting. It's, it's amazing. Like felt. Yes. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, well. Here we go. Scott Ross. Here. These are. Um, uh, well, you can see what they are. Uh, carving. It they're, they're well, cutting boards. Cutting boards. Yeah. I can't get it out of my, and he's a new member. So this will be the first time he's there also. And, and oh, isn't this fun? Jill Liswans. Beautiful. Whimsical fun jewelry, the Dove of Peace pin and earrings to match. I mean, she her things are just fun and full of life. So, so, so many great items. We're going to show Zoe Parent's piece that's just gorgeous. But um, I'd like to make sure that everybody knows um, all the information that we need uh, for the show that's coming up this weekend. Um, it's a great way to support local economies. Uh, it's the 70th annual Vermont Handcrafters Fine Craft and Art Show. It begins its celebration this Friday, November 18th at the Doubletree Hotel and Conference Center in South South Burlington. The show runs through Saturday, November 20th. For more information, you can go to the information that's on your screen, vermonthandcrafters.com. Elizabeth, thank you so much for showing us some of these fabulous artists, and we hope you have a very successful show. Thank you, and everybody come to see us. It's going to be a grand time. We're so excited. <laughs> Terrific. And that's our program for today. Once again, thank you for joining us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. Stay well.